lot and then winter time the gifts take over originally we opened up as a full-scale woman's store and uh, we found out that it's just too tough to make the woman's store work so we started putting in jewelry we eventually we put in incense candles pocketbooks so we we've just added on and added on over the year um you know, uh, do, you, do you go to, like, shows and buy uh, new incarnations of, uh, of these kinds of clothes? We, we do the shows up at the Javits Center up in New York. Our clothing is clothing that just never goes out of style. I have people come in here with their threaded tapestries, and they buy new tapestries. They're old hippie shirts. They're looking for new hippie shirts, and they're still buying those clothing. The clothing never went out of style. It just sort of went away a little bit. The stores didn't pick up on it as much. Now it's like the real high-demand clothing because it's light, carefree. You don't have to uh, take a lot of attention to wash it, whatever. You just rinse it out, hang it on the line. So, yeah, we're just everything so it's really good so we're, we're just half and half and that's you know the way we sell um let me ask you this i i know that you have a, a wide variety of grateful dead uh items and and uh, and stuff i mean what are the some of the other kinds of brands uh, that or the other kind of themes that uh, that you sell um in clothing, we do a lot of blue sky, and we have a lot of people who like sacred threads clothing, so we carry a lot of that line. We also still carry Gita, which is one of the original uh, clothing lines of the clothing of India. So there are three major companies, and uh, people basically relate them still back to the Grateful Dead. Uh, on the uh, on the gift end, I noticed that you have a, a lot of stuff from uh, uh, from Egypt and, and and stuff like that. Is there is there any kind of theme that uh, that you go with with the uh, the crystals and the pyramids and stuff? Well, with the Egyptian theme, a lot of people are into Egyptian products. They the Egyptian ha line has a lot of meaning for people. It's very spiritual, so they get more into that. The crystals people use that for like feng shui. Same way with wind chimes. Uh, let's see what else. Um, certain things, um, oils, essential oils, which we sell some essential oils, but we sell a lot of the Indian oils, and we're really cheap in on um, price on those oils. We sell a lot of the auroric blends, and we're like so reasonable, we sell it out the door. So um, different things have different meanings for different folks. Um, I noticed that you have some uh, original uh, Native American stuff back here. Can you tell us about that? Um, a lot of people, especially when their children are born, come in and they buy dream catchers. Dream catchers are great, especially if a child has nightmares. And there's a lot of people around here that still believe in the Native American customs. Um, there's a lot of people who are still Native American, and they come in and they like to collect the Native American pieces. It's a great heritage thing for their children to learn as well. Well, what about all these candles? You know, I mean, you have a ton of candles here. You have, like, more candles than, like, department stores and stuff like that who have candle departments. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the kinds of candles? And I understand that you make some candles here? We, we sure do. Uh, my husband makes a, a pure soy blend candle with natural wicks. Soy burns slower, but it burns much cleaner. We also have um, soy blend with natural wicks and they do very well we sell a lot of them especially at christmas time we carry mountain home candles and we're one of the last people around this area that are carrying mountain home candles and we're really cheap on them we also carry um let's see coventry candles crystal journey candles a lot of people use them for if you have a problem solving or certain meaning in your life. Um, I have people come from Kentucky and he'll buy maybe 15 protection candles, uh, 15 of this, or like money candles, prosperity. They, they all have a meaning and they're all Reiki charged. We also do the wicked candles and a lot of people like them, especially at the time of the winter solstice or um, in the spring, the full moon. They ha all have a meaning to the people who practice that. Well. You know, you were probably the original pioneer here uh, in terms of opening up a, a nice boutique shop. I mean, uh, how you view some of the changes? We came here 12 years ago. There were 37 open stores. Today, we don't. I think we only have about 
maybe four retail spaces that are actually left available, if we even have that. It's changed a whole lot for us. It's changed in the fact that the more stores we, we are starting to see coming in, like especially at Christmas time, people are really taking advantage of shopping downtown instead of hitting the mall. And that is something that is really fantastic. This was the best Christmas I have seen down here in 12 years. It was great seeing people with shopping bags from other stores come in. And it, it was just a really good feel. For us, this is a good change. The more people come in, the better we are. The slower it is, the better it is because people just aren't rushing in like they did years ago and then one by one they're closing their doors and leaving. So this is a much better progress that we're going in. Okay, um, uh, what's the address here? The address is 211 Bridge Street. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 11 to 6.30, Friday, 11 to 7.30. Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday by appointment, unless sometimes we do open on a Sunday just to, uh, if there's a certain event going on, then we'll open for a Sunday. And we have email. It's ellie at elliechoice.com. Okay, I think you gave us all of it, except what is your phone number? 610-917-0260. You want to say that one more time? Sure. 610-917-0260. That was a trick question. Um, okay, um, this is uh, Barry Cassidy uh, with uh, Ellie Ann Campora from uh, Ellie's Choice, uh, the original store in uh, downtown Phoenixville. Uh, lasted 12 years uh, doing land office business. Um, come on down, get your uh, uh, get your needs uh, needs filled on incense and candles and giftware, as well as uh, uh, clothes that my daughter wears. Thanks. I know. And we have the best incense around. We have the largest selection around. Do you have strawberry? We have strawberry. We have orange. We have sandalwood orange. You name it, we have it. We even have Morningstar. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, uh, as you can probably tell, like I, I'm, I'm kid of the 60s. I was, uh, you know, I was as Ellie was. And uh, this is about as original as it comes. The only thing that, uh, you know, is not here is paraphernalia. And you do not sell paraphernalia, am I Chester correct? Chester County does not allow it. Okay, so you can't buy that kind of stuff here, but as close as it was in the day, that's what this 